So today I'm back playing Fallout 4. I'm back with another settlement build. This time in a more um, common place, Starlight Drive-In. And I'm using the theme of Megaton for this one. It, it's not an exact replica by any means, but it's kind of like more inspired, kind of a junkier type of build. And I've cleverly named it Mega Pound because it's not, you know, a ton because it's smaller. It's very clever. Um, so right away I wanted to make the entrance a little more interesting. I don't, I'm not sure if I achieved it, but I did my best. So a little guard tower right under there. And when you come in, there's some more guard towers, or guard posts rather. And, uh, you know, I just use these raider pieces to try to kind of mimic like the M. Again, I really don't think I succeeded, but the fun thing I realized is that you can put lights on these posts if you try hard enough. So yeah, I tried to light up the starlight sign as well. The lights were very hard to get on there. A lot of them weren't cooperating, but I kind of achieved it. So yeah, I'll bring you in now. So right as you walk in, you're warmly welcomed by a purple neon sign and ushered in. Uh, you have a little place to register right here as well as a place to keep your stuff, some lockers. To the left, if you need some info on where to go, what to do, you can access it in this little place. And you turn around the corner, you got an outhouse. A lot of the things I put in here were just pretty much to take up space so there wasn't so empty. Um, Megaton is essentially just like a collection of houses and different buildings. So it's pretty much what this ended up being. It's just kind of a shanty town. There's also quite the centerpiece in Megaton with the bomb. I obviously couldn't do that without mods, so I just made this like little tower instead. But yeah, I'll just take you through the houses one by one. This is the first one. Uh, last one I made, so it's probably the least inspired. Uh, just a little open concept bachelor pad. You got your bed there, kitchen, lonely place to eat behind the door, uh, bathroom, and a little workshop area. So pretty much everything you needed of a house. And this next one I guess is the fisherman's house. I really don't know where he's getting the fish from, but whatever I want with it. This is another thing I've started to do with um, the bridge pieces. I've just noticed there's a gap there, so I'll have to fix that, but whatever. The bridge pieces can make a nice second um, layer. I don't know, I just kind of like the look. Also, um, yeah, I managed to kind of glitch the fish rack into here so it's like you're smoking some fish. It's probably my favorite part of this house. And upstairs I'll just take a quick look. Nothing major up here. Bathroom, right by your bed, that's nice. Little wardrobe. And a lot of uh, building this was just, how do I take up this space? So I use this um, fountain as like a sort of secondary centerpiece, I guess. Kind of creating a road, almost, pathway, I guess. Uh, over here I did what everybody else does and created a bar. I don't know why none of my workers are here. Maybe it's too late, but I'm not going to take you in there because I didn't do anything with it. And here's my first one that I kind of tried to mimic from Megaton, which is the clinic. Eh, kind of worked. And that one, they have the Brahmin and like a little farm area, so that's why I have that in there. And when you walk it, it's quite tight, but you've got the main clinic. Back there in true wasteland style, you've got your surgery chair, a uh, place for patients, and a little, I don't know, place, computer place. And if you go through here, I'll take you up in a second, but if you go through here, this is just all the farmland. Alright. And when you go up, this is probably my favorite part of the entire place because I like building these small spaces and that's what this is. Kind of the scientist's workshop. 
So we've got a chemistry station there. He's working on a Sultron circuit board. Flasks. And then he sleeps right underneath this nuclear material as an experiment. Yeah, just a fun little spot. Siren. And if you look behind there, I'll show you. I've kind of tried to go with the Lucas Sims has this plane part on the back of his house. So that's kind of what I was going for there. Was I successful? I don't know. Let me know. This is just the marketplace. I'll have to switch that around. That's not okay. Marketplace, there's double bars because why not? And yeah, over here, this this part comes with it. It's where the um, workshop is. So I'm just going to put an armor thing in there. This is strictly just for this power armor. That's it. And yeah, here's, here's a little bridge. I'll take you up that bridge after. If we go in here, it's just a little factory space. And yeah. I've done this before and I just figured out you have to attach a terminal to it so just in case you're confused as I was about that that's what you do so here's one that I took directly from Megaton the Children of Adam church so you look down you can see the pews and all the radiation lighting Tone for Adam, that's what they're reading that day, I guess. So, pretty basic place to preach from, place to be uh, baptized, everything you need in a church, really. <coughs> so, yeah, this is actually the first piece I built in here that kind of got me going. And over here is a small armory. You know, just the basics. Fat man some mines yeah very small space but another one that came from uh, Megaton over here is you know the bad side of town just got a couple places to sleep eat your cans I also could just blocked off that back part because I didn't know what to do with that little room in the back um, so I just ignored it that was my solution to it as well I didn't I didn't do anything with up there I'll show you that in a bit though okay if you go up here I've created a little gym space oh someone's working out late at night there's usually people in here and it's nice that they can actually get up here because I was worried that they wouldn't be able to down here I'll show you a bit of the um, you know the poorer part of town where you can't afford a full house so you get these tiny homes Here's the first one, kitchen, dining room, and back here's a little place to sleep. So I've made a couple of these. A lot of them are just beds, like this one. See, just basic dwelling. In here is if you're really broke, you can just kind of join in the fun. And yeah, here's another tiny home, quote unquote. And here's a big old family home. Got your living room. Just stacked up some boxes because I could not get the walls to work for the life of me. Bathroom, bathtub. And kitchen dining room. And upstairs you have a common sleeping area. Just a ton of beds. Kind of reminds me of an old camp or something. So, I will take you over here next. This little space back here ended up being kind of blocked in. So I ended up making um, a little bit of a prison. So I'll take you in here quick. Oh, I guess the guard's leaving. Hi. But yeah, you got your basic cells. Toilet, place to sleep. I think I'm being attacked, but I'm just going to ignore it. There's no toilet in this one, so you just can, you know, use this pile of hay. And back here is your main courtyard. So you got your guard post up there. Placed for the prisoners to work out back there. Uh, little basketball hoops, shoot some hoops. And this is where they all sleep. Hopefully no one gets shanked in here. 
So yeah, that's how I've kind of used this space because it did end up getting blocked in, so I had to do something with it. Close that up so no one gets gets out of there. Okay, and now I'll finish off. Actually, you know what? I'll take you up here. I'll show you in here quickly, and then I'll show you across the bridge. So this main spot is like the overseer's office. So somewhere you can meet there. You got your sword. I'll take you upstairs first. These are really basic rooms. Get some pottery on display. Place to work and look out. Little living area. And the top one is the overseer's room. Lots of stuff in here. Um, just a place to sleep. Watch the one channel. Wait for the TV to one day come back. And get a good look actually up here of the main courtyard. <coughs> so yeah, I'll bring you back down across that bridge. Show you a bit of the seedier side of Mega Pound. Uh oh. So yeah, this is where the overseer can, you know, entertain uh, other politicians coming. Off them some cigars, some expensive bourbon, you know, all the good stuff. Why it's above a factory, I can't really tell you. I just don't really know where else to put it. So yeah, that's everything that's in the tower. And now I will bring you back to another... Uh-oh. Um, ode to Megaton, where you got the Bronze Lantern. And this is probably another one of my favorites. I stole this from a guy I watched. It's uh, The Great and Formidable Oz. So I've just kind of stacked up a lot of those fireplace pieces to uh, fire pits rather to make like a little barbecue so yeah I kinda like this I think it's a cool idea and if you go inside there's more of a place where you can you know play some games play the slots a um, little bathroom over here nothing major and over here we've got like a buffet and patio great selection of meats and a cake so yeah I think I've shown you everything there is to see um, that's a very quick overview of Starlight Drive-In this took me so long to make and just a few minutes to show you everything but I think it turned out alright and it's such a big space that it's kinda hard when you're not using mods to make it anything but this little shanty collection town I guess but um, yeah hope you enjoyed if there's somewhere you wanna see built next uh, let me know okay bye